So the first ultrasound should be always done at the end of the menstrual cycle and there you bought the baseline ultrasound. Never with the 12 day immediately. They should be done immediately after menses. When I say the after menses, I treat every woman as a 28 day normal cycle. She may be having 35 days, she may be having 21 days, but the first thing is immediately after the end of menses. So that comes around 5th or 6th day, but then she is finished. Number two, always, always do the transabdominal scan before you start the TV scan. Never ever immediately start the TV scan before the doing it because there are multiple positions of the ovaries which I showed you next slide. So please always have a full bladder and do the TF transabdominal. We call that the panoramic view and the depth of the transverse scan is about 20 centimeters. So you can see from the top as an OP position, you can see the ovaries, the uterus, and any of this pathology in the pelvic area or in the lower abdominal area. So it's very important for major to start. And after that abdominal exam, other patients go to our to empty the bladder and then do the transverse scan. The routine is on the average, maybe two to three of the sounds are carried out. The first ultrasound is immediately after menses, and from there you guess the size and the growth of the follicle, and then you apply the next scan. It's around 13 or 14 weeks, depending on the menstrual cycle of the lady. And finally, one is known as pre operative phase, from there you assess it. And which is not only the follicle, please, please, all those who enter sound, you should not leave your follicle, you follow the intermission. Because endometrium is the one we are going to fertilize egg to the plant. If the endometrium is not a body grown up, the folic is altogether useless. I'll show you the images how it's very important. There's a normal position of ovaries in transatlantic sound. 80% of the ovaries, they are lying on the either side of the uterus. You can see the left ovary here, the right ovary here. Only. But sometimes they can see in the pelvic sac, one over here, and then the normal position. And sometimes you can see the ovaries outside the pelvis. If you simply do the transverse of the sound, you may be under the left ovary is absent. It's never like this. Ovaries are normally symmetrically growing unless and until serious anomalies. Thank you very much. So please make sure you have the transverse of the sound. See the ovaries, location, cardiac, and outside. This ovary will not be able to see by transverse of the sound routinely unless and until empty bladder and push the probe upwards, then you can have this. But if you don't have the transverse of you can miss either of the ovaries and even the follicles. Every time TBS is not 100% successful, maybe 5% you have to be transabdominal as well as the transvaginal ultrasound. Why I say the patient does sound? There are two conditions, two things which are very important to monitor. Number one, can I request the lights for the rock? Because they are all grayscale images. Can I request the lights, please? There should not be any follicle more than 10 millimeter or 10.5 millimeter. And of, uh, at the end of the menstrual cycle. That is the minimum level of the follicle which every lady is having who is uh, fertile and normal cycle. And that is because of the minimum that is 2 to 300 nanogram. And that 2 nanogram is going to show the follicles which are about 10 millimeter maximum. More than 10 millimeter needs to follow up. Number two, the endometrium should not be more than 2 to 3 millimeter at all. I mean, maybe 3 line, but it's not more than 2 to 3 millimeter. So there should not be any follicle in either of the ovaries on either side and the endometrium should not. This is the minimum baseline. Look at this lady, she had last menstrual period on the 4th of May and she's coming on the 10th of May. That means the 6th day is coming and the 6th day they should not. If any follicle seen at this stage of life, please, it's not a follicle. That is a pre-existing follicular cyst or a uh, hormonal cyst, luteal cyst, any other cyst will be there, but that will not be labeled as a follicle even if you follicle the 12th day. There has to be absolutely no follicle more than 10.5 millimeter. <coughs> now the follicle is destined to ovulate. Please note down the rate of growth of follicle is 1 to 1.5 milligram in a normal non-stimulated ovaries. In stimulated ovaries, it will be 1 milligram. So if you note it down on the seventh day of the cycle, that is about 11 millimeter, you should know which day is the next to follow up. The most important thing is dominant follicle. The follicle which is about 20 millimeter in diameter is the dominant follicle. But it can range from 18 to 24 millimeter, but I have seen some patients up to 30 millimeter, provided you are following it from the day one. 
आज फोर्टी डे पे देखना मैं शुरू से देख रहा हूँ के लिए You should select the follicle on the seventh day in the normal ladies, but please make sure sometimes the disease doesn't eat the books. It normally doesn't books. The books eat the pathologies. Sometimes you may not be able to see the age twelfth day. We call that cumulative effect. Suddenly you select follicles on the twelfth day. So don't get worried. You don't see the seventh, eighth day. You might get delayed because that lady may not ovulate on the same day at every month. The same lady of twenty day, twenty eight day cycle may ovulate on the twelfth day. May ovulate. 60 day every day is different similarly different ladies who have got 30 day cycle 35 day cycle they will definitely ovulate 40 days before the next ovulation cycle well menstrual cycle make sure in 6% cases the dominant follicle see just 4 days before the ovulation that's very important in 93% cases only one follicle is grown and in only 57% cases there are two follicles but those ladies who get the stimulation They may be having one, or they may have multiple, depending on the dose she is getting. That's why it's very important. They should always, always monitor the ladies who get the stimulation dose on the respective days, so you attain the day when the follicle is appearing. Don't send the patient home by simply advising that the ovarian has been five days eating. This month pregnancy is not the next month eating. Then pregnancy is the next month eating. Please let's stop this business because there is a lot of consequences. Which I'll show you what are the complications. Always, always support them with ultrasound monitoring. And if the follicle is reaching its size, then you can manage it, and she can get it. Number two, you can calculate the dose. The dose given this month is sufficient, or is overdose. That is all calculated by your ultrasound department. Potentially, the ovulation follicle is ten point five. That is the minimum size of the follicle, which you must appreciate on the tenth day cycle. Less than that, it may be a case of. Uh, Uh, PCOD. Now, the normal cycle, you can appreciate the blood flow in the myometrium, but not at the endometrial or the endometrial phase. Only every for, and that ovary which is going to show a follicle, the nature is very kindly. That side of the ovarian artery is going to have the increased vascularity because that needs to grow the follicles. So you look at that ovary. That ovary is showing the increased blood flow. With the result, you can see the uh, PI and the RI is going to increase. On the contrary, the ovary which is not going to show follicles, the blood flow is going to be on the lower side. Now the increased flow out of my urethra. The dominant follicle, as I told you earlier. That has to be 60 millimeter plus. If you look at this follicle, it's rounded, it's dense, it's distended. It's not irregular plan unless until it is full bladder. In the normal cases, it has to be very well rounded. And look at the endometrium. Please always associate simple follicular growth is not important unless until the endometrium is correct. If endometrium is too irregular, if follicle good size, that that is absolutely of no use. She will not be pregnant because this fertilized ovum has to be implanted in the endometrium. So this is associated. If you find the endometrium which is more than eight millimeter, that's a good sign. Thicker it is, the better it is. If say you are twelve millimeter, it's still the better. But the diagnostic signing it has to be trigeminal. Three lines you must appreciate and you appreciate it. Number two, you first see the blood flow in the follicular size. We call the firing sign. So the entire follicle wall showing you the increased vascularity. Similarly, if you look at this uh, follicles. Those girls who get the stimulation, very carefully, please monitor them. Don't let them go home and come after one month or two months. You have injection, you have given gorillas, you have without calculation, you start with minimal doses. But if you find a lady like this, multiple follicles in both the follicles, eyes, ovaries, and the endometrium is good size, your requirement is 80 millimeter plus. You can measure all those follicles. And these days, there is a software on the machine, in the high-end machines, Sono AVC, automatic volume calculations. Because you can't measure every follicle by putting one side probe and the other side probe, you can't have it. So the software available just introduce that software and the required size and above follicles all measure number one height, the transfer diameter, the volume of it, which are required for that. So you can select all those follicles by just putting that software and you can calculate how many follicles this lady is growing. Whether she is going to have twins or multiple because multiple follicles, especially those who are going to have IVF or those ICSI programs and you want to take the follicles outside. 
you can calculate them how many follicles. So the gynecologists, by putting needle inside, they can uh, take out the follicles, preserve them for multiple chances to give the lady to become pregnant if one chance is fail or the next. Now, what are the potential signs of uh, impending ovulation? Follicle is growing in maybe 8 millimeter. When it's going to rupture, that's very, very important. You know the exact time and you can tell the patient what time is useful to go and meet. Because sometimes these couples are elderly couples. The normal teen is going to cause a week to only cow. Barmadish, Chodmadish, Solmadish, Athalja, Hamas, Jatimanya. Sometimes it's practically very difficult. One should make the duty of the husbands. Please give them a chance to get the calculation exactly on the spot when it's fully rupture. What is the requirement? The follicle should be at least 16 millimeter plus. Number two, diagnose two things very important. Presence of a cumulus of forest. I can show you how you can appreciate, but these are all transvaginal findings, not transabdominal findings. <coughs> and you can go here, double contour signs. You can see the granulosa, the theca layers. If you find those two layers, that means 24 hours next are very, very important. And after that, you can call the patient even after 12 hours. Some big couples come to you, they say, give us one meeting time of few hours. Don't give us 14, 12, 16, 18 days. It's difficult. So by the monitoring ultrasound, you can tell them the exact time with a limit of four to six hours when you rupture. And once you ask the couple to go and see after rupture, they're going to conceive. And let me tell you, they're going to conceive why I just prove the signs with the next two slides. Separation of follicle. Then you must appreciate once there is a follicle, once more than 80 millimeter, once there is a cumulus forest, once there is a thick aerosa, Call the lady after 12 hours. And after 12 hours, you can appreciate the real separation of the Theca layers. We call the cleanated margins. If you find the cleanated margins, that means it has started rupturing the follicle. That is time when the uh, just uh, transition from the estrogen phase to the ovulatory phase or the luteal phase started. That's about 24 hours later. And please, at the same time, look for the endometrium. If it's 8 millimeter thick, that means it's going to be useful for the ladies. Now I'll show you all the classical signs which I discussed with you. You can appreciate the follicle here. It's about 18, 19, 20 millimeters. And she is coming on the, uh, and the last period was 24th of May, and now she's coming on the uh, 6th. That means after about 30 days, 12 days. It's very ideal for a normal lady or 28 days cycle. You can see this small cystic area in the large body. That is basically cumulus forest. This is going to be released after the follicle. That's going to be fertilized with the sperm coming from the opposite arm. Here you can appreciate that, but at the same time, look at the endometrium, which has to be three lines. And thicker it is, the better it is. The three art millimeter, non millimeter, thus going to be, that's going to be good sign for the actual follicle. And look at this double layer, we call the uh, granulosa theca layers. Look at these two layers. Sorry. Look at these two lines. And this means it's going to rupture in the next 24 hours. Now you call the lady after about 12 hours. And you look at the blood flow, there's increased vascularity in the myometrium. And our concern is at the interface of the endometrium and the myometrium. Now the blood flow of this area is very, very important these days. If you say the blood flow is good, the RI and the PI is low, the chances of fertilized ovum to be planted in the endometrium is very high. Follicles, you may have 10 follicles, but you look at this blood flow, normally it should be 3 to 8 centimeter peak cell velocity, and the P has to be less than 3. Less than mean 3, less than 2, or 1 is a blessing for the lady if it's 9 millimeter plus, and the R is 0.6 or less, and the P is less than 2, that means this endometrium is very much ripe, it's going to accumulate, uh, accommodate, and get the implanted to fertilize over. But if you find this R I, uh, this P I more than 3, let me show you. The vascularity of that endometrium is very much compromised. The blood vessels is narrow, they are tortuous, and they need a treatment like this spring to dilate the blood vessels. So please give this message to the endometrium. Okay, now, no doubt she has got a follicle, she got a good cell follicle, but the sub-endometrial blood flow is not competent enough to allow the fertilized ovum to be implanted in the endometrium because blood supply is not very good. Now look at this uh, image. There is a video, I think, that's the issue. Yeah. Now you appreciate the blood flow. It's very much there, but this is the area we should cover that. This is the area we should cover that. sub endometrial blood flow. It was not the early days of um, uh, menstrual cycle. Once it's coming at the time of the ovulation, 
This respiratory disease, endometrium is the central line, this is the sec lower lines, above line. This is the area which we will do, and this RI should be less than 3. Similarly, you compare it uh, at the same time the follicle, it has got the rich blood flow, there's a gray scale, and there's a color doctor, increased respiratory, and we call that the firing sign. If you find this firing sign and the endometrium increased blood flow, then please do look for the uh, spiral arteries, as if you can appreciate here. The endometrium is very good, but the blood flow is also increased, and this is the area which is required to measure. And if you find this area, do this factor analysis. And if you find the RI, uh, PI less than 1 is a blessing, as in this patient, is 0.81. I told you less than 3. The lower it is, the better it is. Okay, 1 PI is less than 1 RI. But please make sure if this PI is more than 3, please write on your board. No doubt the follicle is very good, but the PI is very high unlikely to be accommodated in the cerebrum. So next time when she goes to gynecologist, she will give us some uh, drugs so that the increase respiratory in the form of dyspnea or antiplatelet therapy, there is going to increase the blood flow and to increase the endometrial. This is very, very important these days. Now how you find the population study? I was going to about the varab diet. So next thing is, what's going to happen? The size of the follicle, which was rounded, which was dense, different now. On one side, 24 millimeter, other side, 17 millimeter. That means the size has changed. Instead of rounded, it has become uh, oval shaped, number one. If you look at the endometrium, we got the transitional phase. That has gone from three line sharp to three line diffuse. This takes about 24 hours. Number two, small amount of free fluid. You can appreciate that. It has started rupturing, but this only. If you ask a couple to go at this time meet with the husband, let me assure you they are going to conceive. And if they can see, let me show you if you see boy. Why they will conceive boy? It's very all science. I put on about there. Best time to meet and conceive boy because you know the male is contributing the Y component and the X component. The lady is giving only the X component. The Y component has got three qualities, the X component three qualities. Y component has got short life, it's a small size, and a very fast in love speed. So once you meet at this time, of the two X and Y, the Y is going to strike the uh, ovum first because it has got fast life, it has got a short life, it is small in size. Chote size ke tez jayega, it will strike. So chance of Y are very high. But if this couple meets 12 hours before that or after that, then the possibility is the life of the Y component is just 12 hours. If they don't meet within 12 hours, 8 hours at this time, they are going to meet after 12 hours or so, then the likely possibility of female. Why female? Because the Y component has got a small life. After 12 hours, it's the own duty of the X component to go and strike the line. So that's why it's very important to ask them to go and meet immediately after they see these changes, free flow. How to confirm that she has a ruptured follicle? If you send a patient today without the first ultrasound, you cannot say when she ruptured because the changes are then stagnant and same in the rest of the next cycle. The confirmation is 90% they rupture the follicle and they will disappear the follicle. Within 24 hours, the follicle disappears. And what do you find? Small amount of fluid in the cutting sac. That is a diagnostic sign. But fluid in the cutting sac, if I see just today, for the first time, the fluid may be luteal, the fluid may be inflammatory. So who knows it was there before, it's only present today. So best is start from the day one. Decrease the size, 9% cases, they do have small irregular collapse follicle. May not be completely collapsing, takes 24 hours or plus. Irregular follicle, some people appreciate that. Uh, Intrafollicular echoes corpus which become hemorrhagic, you can appreciate that in most of the cases, but may not be there over there as well. Now look at this finding. Now we know with the first of the sound that she has ruptured the follicle as she's gone into the ovulation phase. Three criteria. This is rupture on 16 day, not the 12th day. Thick endometrium, look at this, thick endometrium. Fluid curly sac and absence of follicle. This follicle is collapsed and small it the follicle. But endometrium is thick and small amount of the sac. If you find this thick endometrium, it means it's <laughs> over 24 hours now. The fluid is there, the absence of uh, uh, follicle or the collapsed follicle or a corpus luteum are there. As this, you can appreciate again, there is a fluid curly sac here, up and down. You can see the fluid here, the endometrium is thick and the follicle is collapsed. So that means it is confirmed. And that night is setting. Every lady is not going to show the same changes on the same. So please keep them following up. If you have not given the changes, call after 48 hours, depending on the size of the follicle. We know rate of growth is 1 millimeter. After 48 hours, don't see the follicle size. 
12 after 48 hours, 70 days, depending on the size. Because her cycle was 35 days. So she will not up to the 12 days, she will up to the 90 days. And this lady, this lady up to the 40 on the 19 day. So her follicle ovulation day is the 19 day because she is 33 day cycle and she's going to up to the follicle after five days of the normal ladies. And you're going to find this kind of corpus luteum, thick ecogenic at the end of the uh, follicle rupture. And this line remains the same till the end start next month. So please don't expect that the thick and we cannot make. Nobody can say that. You can appreciate that because once the ovulation has started, it has finished, the endometrium remains thick in the next masses. So, do cannot say whether she had a follicle, she had not a follicle. This endometrium thick with a simple hydroplastic from the pre existing cycle and you ensure the cycle growth. There's a cycle which I'm going to show you. This lady had multiple stimulations and she had multiple follicles. She was saying, Why you have become pregnant? Look at this follicle, multiple follicles here. One, two, three, four. Both the ovaries have got six to seven follicles. Rupture bhi ho rahe hai, fluid bhi aa hai. She is getting all the changes, but she is not becoming pregnant. Look at the response of the endometrium. The endometrium is barely four millimeter. So will she conceive? No. Even if she has got a follicle and she is fertilized the follicle, the endometrium is not receptive to host that follicle. It becomes hostile because the growth is not enough. It is not rich. She is not going to conceive that lady. So please take care of the ladies for the endometrium. Jab bhi aap follicle. And the is a source of mandatory. Sometimes you can find this kind of cycle. Lady risk here, very calculated, because these ladies are very anxious. Though they they get worried, I think she's pregnant. But please make sure to do the ultrasound. If you find the ultrasound, this phase is small amount of fluid. Small amount of fluid. Is it a gravity uterus? It's a non gravity uterus. Please make sure. The gravity uterus is always going to burrow this fertile uh, ovum into the endometrium, into the vimetrium. But if you look at this endometrium, it is all thin endometrium, thick endometrium, but this is irregular, it's thin wall, there is no residual reaction, there is no blood flow, and it's longitudinal. <coughs> on transverse section, yes, rounded. On longitudinal section, it's with irregular outline. If it's irregular outline, please wait for 24 hours. Because every lady who is going to have menstrual cycle, we call the menstrual cycle when she shows the blood. But 24 hours before the onset of the actual menstrual, the actual menstrual will show, the uterus starts shedding off. Once it starts shedding off, you can find this blood in the uterine cavity. So wait for 24 hours, either she's going to have the uh, menstrual cycle or this is a fluid. It's not the gestation sac because it's not showing thick blood flow. Number two, it's not showing thick endometrium, the thick wall, and above all, it's not penetrating into either side of the endometrium. The normal follicle, fertilized worm have to fertilize the worm. Now, once you find overdue two-day cycle, you don't see any uh, gestation sac. Is she grab it or not? Yeah, it's very important because two weeks after the onset of the next menstrual cycle, I nahi aaye, failed me, they are very, very important. This is message because there are certain uh, girls who may be pregnant, but they may not be showing the uh, cavity uterus on the day she is quite low. This is known as transitional zone. This is known as uh, gray zone. This is a blind gestational zone. Please give them the margin. And next time, after the follicle, that has come assist. It is not a cavity uterus. It is not a topic pregnancy. Please make sure any ectopic pregnancy which is more than 11 millimeter, to the follicle size with 11 millimeter, if they don't have intra uh, sac, yolk sac, and the fetal pole, please, they are not the gravity uterus. If you 20 millimeter, you have a ectopic pregnancy. No, please, no. That's not. Look for the fetal pole, look for the yolk sac. Any, any gestational sac more than 12 millimeter in any intensive area or in the uterine cavity. Without a yolk sac is not ectopic pregnancy. Please make rule of thumb. Why I'm saying it? Because sometimes you get the report, ectopic pregnancy, PTSI, you get 600, ectopic pregnancy, you get 12mm, 12mm, you get a thick injection, and she can go to show the pregnancy in the uterus. Please wait, wait, wait. DNC, are you okay? DNC, are you okay? The patient is comfortable, the patient is quiet, PTSI level 500, just hold your guns. Don't rush for the injection method tricks. Don't rush for the surgery. Give her time, please. That's very important. I see many girls, including doctors, unfortunately, got the experience. Now, please do the color doctor. The magic is do the color doctor. As I told you earlier, slides, there is no blood flow on the endometrium in a non gravity uterus, except in C erectum or in R plus C. But if you find a lady who has missed the cycle, come to you after three days, come to you after five days, and the BTS is done, and it's done about, say, five women, six and a half. She will not come on the uterus. 
This will not come. The UTS will show the gestational sac only if the BTS level is over 1,000 or 900 plus. If you have 600 or 500, or please hold yourself. Do the predoctor. The non gravid uterus is not going to show blood flow. This endometrium, we have discussed in the This endometrium number one will be thick, one line, maybe 15 millimeter, maybe 20 millimeter. And the diagnostic sign is please introduce the correct doctor and you find the blood flow. We do the spectrum analysis, low resistance, high diastolic. This velocity will go up 20, 20 centimeter. Non gravid subendometrium, 8 centimeter. Gravid uterus without set, 20 centimeter. If you find the blood flow, if you find the spectrum analysis, but there is no intermediate set, that's a blessing. Hold down. She is a normal intrauterine gravid uterus. We call this warm uterus. We call this gravid uterus without the appearance of the gestation set. This can be after 48 hours, the 9 hours. This cuts on beat PG, you find a small set. Please, the message is hold yourself instead of giving the injections, methotrexate, and the surgeries. Similarly, those girls. Who are given the stimulation, just a minute, Kaji, is many of the Guria Khani and Bibi, Karcherejo, Milena. Now pregnancy, we are going to fit Che Guria Khana, Milena. Please, let's hold our guns again. Why I'm saying it? The Aj after dose D house goes, say two tablets day, say one tablet day. And this dose is overdose as compared to the lady. Please do the burden of sound before you start the next cycle. And do it trans abdominal of the sound. And if you find any follicular cyst, Look at this 3 centimeter, 2.8 centimeter, about 12 centimeter, uh, 6, 5 centimeter. Do not give the dose in this cycle because already dose was more than the requirement and she has got follicular cyst. And this cyst will not grow at the bridge. She can end up with the ovarian hypertrophy syndrome. Please hold yourself, wait for the next cycle because the dose given was more. Now you can calculate that next time you have to go to the next time. You have to go to the next time. You have to go to the next time. So dose is calculated right from the sex, next ultrasound before the start next set. Please don't start next set because she has already got multiple cyst and she can end up with the OHS, ovarian hypostimulation syndrome. And sometimes you find a cyst like this. We call the love syndrome. There are two, two theories behind this syndrome. You saw the follicle and it did not rupture. But you saw the specs inside. If you find the specs inside, there are two schools of thought. One school of thought is this cumulus forest, which I showed you earlier. Rupture the wall, escape, and the lady become pregnant, but they still persisting. Second school of thought is because once it escapes, it causes auto seed. Sometimes it ruptures and collapses, but in few cases, it creates auto seed, again becomes seed together, and the fluid remains inside and come down to the belly sac. Second school of thought is that's when you recognize unruptured follicle syndrome. Or rupture will be you must already release the uva, it's going to unruptured follicle syndrome and you can find the echoes into it. So this lady will not pregnant like if she has an ruptured gland. Hypersyl ovaries, there are two causes. Number one, OHSS, ovarian hypersyndrome or biological disease. Biological disease see in those cases who have got the hereditary form mode or partial mode because of the increased levels of beta SCG, these girls can have bilateral multiple for the follicular cyst as you can appreciate like the size may be more than five centimeter, ten centimeter. I have seen certain cases a khatun SCBI, this bichari ko infertility thi and the gynecologist advised her to take a treatment for five days and never ask her to come back after one, one month. That poor lady thought five months. So she rose a goli khani shiv karti and after two, three months she didn't have the periods because she was already skin stimulation. By the fifth term, the tummy was big, husband was happy, sas was happy, mother was happy that she's pregnant. She was not pregnant. She was entering into the grade three Hyperstimulation syndrome. By the time she came to me for the ultrasound, she collapsed. She had massively stimulated ovaries and she had got electron imbalance, huge tummy, huge follicular cysts, grown into many, many centimeters. So she was unfortunate because she was not educated. So the take of message is please don't leave the patient behind. Please ask them to come back after five days' treatment. Communication skills are very important to inform the patient. Look at this one of the cases. Was got multiple follicles, large follicles, and large tumors, more than 10 centimeters. Now, another message very important if you do the follicle monitoring and don't see the endometrium, don't see the follicle, is she a case of PCOD? No. One after every 16 cycles in a female, the nature is going to do. 
the data activity the cycle, they call the anomalous cycles. No follicles don't see in those ages after 60 cycles. So that's a blessing. Similarly, you're suspecting PCOD, you don't find changes, don't get PCOD, repeat the next cycle, she will have all the follicle changes. That's the rule of thumb right now. Another question is very importantly asked by the patients. कि डॉक्टर साहब मैं जब प्रेग्नेंट होना था तो मेरे बच्चे की चोट लगी या मैं किसी के साथ गई तो एक्सरे उसका हुआ था तो मेरे पीरियड मिस हो गए हैं तो उन दिनों में मैं एक्सरे करने गई थी नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज शुड आई गो फॉर डीएनसी शी बिकॉज़ शी इज प्रेग्नेंट प्रेग्नेंट और शी शुड नॉट गो फॉर रूल ऑफ थंब इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स ऑल एंड नॉन लॉ व्हेन यू गो टू द रेडियोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट फॉर एक्सरे एंड यू आर यंग यू आर फर्टाइल यू आर मैरिड मैरिड एंड यू कैन हैव चिल्ड्रन इफ यू गो सेकंड ऑफ द साइकिल यू गॉट प्रेग्नेंसी द नेचर इज वेरी काइंड टू यू Then the rule is all for Nanda. You are in the stage of blastocyst or marula stage or implantation stage. The nature is kind. The rays are coming to you. Even you got the exit pelvis or the lumbar cervical spine or any other test done. You can have this problem, but the mostly the nature is either going to spare that completely or going to completely kill that, and you can have menstrual abortions. So first ten days or five days are just nature giving you this protection. Once you find you are pregnant, then it's the most dangerous time. So please don't get worried if you are getting the radiation exposure in the second half cycle or one or two days after that. As I told you, once you become a gravid uterus, you have the increased vascularity. You can appreciate it here. I'll just show you a few. I'll just take a few more slides. There's a long list of causes, but I'll just show you one slide which you can do in three other sounds and do it. And the most important sign is in PCOD. Let me show you 50% of the young girls and married couples. Who are coming for the diagnosis of PCOD? Clinically, healthy girl, plumpy girl, big tummy, minor hair growth, is she PCOD? In my experience, 50% of girls who are clinically labeled as PCOD are not PCOD. Please, how to do it? The two three very important criteria: don't do the first ultrasound and declare PCOD. Please. Those are doing the ultrasound, TBS, my messages, and for those who are unmarried young girls, they do transabdominal. But if you don't find the transabdominal follicular growth. Please do not do the transrectal ultrasound, which is equally sensitive because in unmarried girls, you don't do the transvaginal, you can do the transrectal or the transrectal. The criteria is we say multiple follicles 10 millimeter or less than that, 6 millimeter or more than that. It's agreed. But please, unless you follow on two consecutive cycles and then you find this same pattern in the subcapsular region, multiple tiny, small, subcapsular region, bilateral, more than 15, and there's no change in the endometrium. Main thick, five millimeter, six millimeter thick, single line, no changes in two cycles. Then you declare PCOD. Otherwise, please don't rush. Another thing is uterine malformations. No doubt, MRI is the gold standard. But as uh, Dr. Houston showed some images, let me show you. These uh, 3D ultrasound is equally good, and you can appreciate this MRI. Uh, Biconvex uterus, one horn there, second horn there, and there's the cervix. But these days. With the help of ultrasound 3D, you can diagnose it very safely. The separate uterus, the subset uterus, is very, very important because the separate uterus needs the surgery, the subset uterus needs the surgery. I'll just show you one example. This was a doctor who had uh, repeated abortions, but every abortion was carried out at the age of eight weeks. Please let me show you one thing. Any girl who has got the abortions at the age of less than eight or nine weeks is not because of uterine malformations. They are because of chromosomal anomalies or they are because of torch infections. Because the separate uterus, they get the abortions unless until your 16 weeks plus. So if you're suspecting any uterus to be separate uterus, you need surgery, please hold yourself and let the baby grow. Or do the 3D ultrasound. And the criteria for this uh, separate uterus or separate uterus is do the measurements. There is one horn, the second horn. Do the transverse bleeding over there and measure this height. That's where you can see the two endometrium coming together and there's just one medium to internal loss. There's the internal loss. And if this height, of between the two cornua is less than one third of this height, it is not a separate uterus. This is sub separate uterus and this does not need any such intervention. This lady will grow a normal fetus, and now this lady has about two, three kids grown up for more than eight, nine years. But if you find this kind of uterus on three at the sound, one septum there, one horn there, second horn there, and the angle is less than 60 over there, and you can see the thin fine line over there. Now it will be doctor. The thickness of the septum, the height of the septum, and the vasculature of the septum. These three things are very, very important for the gynecologist to know if she needs surgery or she needs it. Similarly, bicon uterus or unipolis uh, uterus, you can do it with ultrasound. It's very important when you find the bicon uterus, please do mention reports. Why I'm saying it? Because once a lady becomes pregnant and she has to do a DNC, so I'm mentioning that it is right hormone pregnancy, left hormone pregnancy. 
جنہوں نے ڈی این سی گانے کو آسی جاتی تین دفعہ کر دی وہ لیفٹ ہارن میں جا رہی ہیں بکاز شی ایز نار انفارم بٹ پریگنسی ایڈ مسٹ بارشن باز رائٹ ہارن سو پلیز ڈو منشن دی بائی پر یوٹیز دی پروڈیس آف کنسپشن آن دی رائٹ سائٹ سو دی شیف گو دی رائٹ سائٹ اور دو دی انٹرمینشنز اور دی ڈی این سی سو دی ڈیٹ ہوں میسیج ایز بیس لین ٹی بیس انٹر ساؤنڈ ایٹ دی اینڈو سائکل ایز ویری ویری مدیت نیور دو دی انٹر ساؤنڈ سٹیل فار پیار سی فورٹی ڈی نمبر دو سیری انٹر ساؤنڈ فالو فار اینڈو میٹر فار بچیز انٹر ساؤنڈ فالی کر گوان الون ایز نار امپورٹن انہیں سیکلی فالو پر دی اینڈو میٹر گرو انٹر ساؤنڈ ایز ویری مدیتی فار دوز مانڈی اگر آپ دوز دے رہے ہیں دو گنیا دے رہے ہیں چاند دے رہے ہیں تو پلیز ایوری سائکل شو بی مانٹر ایز یور دوز سفیشنٹ ایڈرز یور انڈر دوزز اور ایڈر دوزز اوور دوزز دیار 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 د